Welcome back to another YOL tutorial. Today we are going to talk about sub-workflows, also called composite tasks in YOL. Sub-workflows are needed when workflows become more and more complex to factor out certain parts of them. In YOL we have the principle of single entry, single exit, that is each sub-workflow has exactly one entry point from the control flow perspective and one exit point. What is special about sub-workflows or subnets is that if you are accustomed to ordinary programming languages, you know the concept of scopes, that you have certain blocks and that variables are visible in lower blocks from upper blocks. In YAWL we don't have that concept. Instead, if you have a subnet, you need to explicitly pass the parameters to it. And we will see that. So if you look at the supplementary material, the link below, uh, you can upload an initial net. And in this tutorial, we will work on this net and bring it to a final version. Okay, let's go. So we start with your specification from the supplementary material. You can find it down here. And this file is called tutorial10.yaw. So load that into your editor and then let's start. So we have already a first task in here and we have some data types and some variables prepared. So suppose we have an ordering process where the first task is prepare purchase request. We then want to continue ordering and ordering is a two-step sub-process. So in order to do that in YAWL, we go to the palette here and choose the two squares here and click on the canvas somewhere. And then we can connect this as any other task. And for the time being, we just connect it to the end. And now if we go to this so-called composite task, we can now create a new subnet. And the subnet's name is order. And if we go into this new tab now, here we have a new sub yawl specification with a single entry and a single exit, just as an ordinary yawl specification. So here in this subnet, we have two tasks. First one is called approve purchase and the second one is called prepare purchase order. So we go down here, create a new decomposition. And the second one is prepare purchase order. And now we go back to the main net. We need to explicitly pass net variables down to the subnet. And in this case, we need two net variables. We go to this order composite task, click on data variables, and then we say we need the purchase request and we need the purchase order. And the purchase request is an input variable, comes from the top level net. And the purchase order is an output variable. So now we have the variables available. And if we go down to the order subnet and to the task approve purchase, we can now drag and drop 
the purchase request from here and if we need another variable, let's say a boolean variable approved we can define it as a local variable here and just drag it into that task and then prepare purchase order. So variables here are the purchase request as an input variable, the approved as an input variable and the purchase order as an output variable. And this will prepare the output for the whole subnet. So that's all for now. We will continue with this example in a later video. You can find the final net of this tutorial in the supplementary material. The next tutorial will be the first one on more advanced topics, namely the multiple instance task. Hope to see you then.